All right, so. Riding a mammoth is very simple. All you do is press A and he will attack like that. That's the only thing he does. But really, his attack is only important for breaking down shit. There is no other reason for having him. And here's another part of this that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I want to hit Tricky so bad. Alright, the guy is manning the cannon. He sees that we're breaking through the gate. He does not fire at us. What is up with him? Is he working? Is he like an inside man working against General Scales or something? That he doesn't want to kill us? I mean, it doesn't make sense why he wouldn't just suddenly start firing at us. We're on a slow ass mammoth, and he has a cannon. Who's faster? The cannon. The cannon, people. Why? Why doesn't he just start shooting at us? I mean, he leaves his cannon unmanned for some reason. I don't know. And I for so I thought you could break this down, but no. You can't break it down with the mammoth, so obviously there's another way of doing it. Even though, you would think, his tusk should be able to break through it. Although, it's not level with his tusk, so technically he'd be ramming up the, up the wall, which I would think would hurt. So, let's park this guy. Conveniently right here. Thank goodness this was here. We'd never have any way of getting off this damn mammoth. So, and again, now he starts firing at us, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's great. Now he decides to man the cannon again, but he's only shooting at Fox. He doesn't care about the mammoth. They're the ones who are enslaving the mammoths. They are not enslaving Fox. For all I know, they probably think Fox is just a nuisance right now. But they care more about shooting Fox instead of shooting the giant mammoth that has clearly escaped captivity. Logic, man. It just... This whole... This whole series of events taking place is just baffling. Clearly we cannot do anything with the guy, so we should best find another way through. And he is not going to be able to break anything with the cannon, so we have to find another way. Let's get Tricky to flame this. I need to give him some more mushrooms in a bit. Or he'll be useless. And let's see, now we want to go up this little thing. Uh, there's a boost pad, but you'll see that we need three cogs. So, that's what we'll have to do. Figure out where the hell these three cogs are. Now, we have to hop over here. He's still firing at us. So at least he hasn't given up altogether. He's just a really bad shot. You'd think after seeing Fox go in there, he would... He's off his thing, but... I don't know, it's... You'd think he'd run for cover instead of thinking he could take him one-on-one, -on -one, but... He's not that smart. So, now they come out. Which is okay, they can come out, I suppose. They see that I'm near a cannon. What in their right mind makes them think this is a good idea? What in their right mind... I mean, you'll see in a bit. Right now, you can't even tell. But we, we have control of the cannon. And we want to shoot the X that uh, I was trying to break earlier. Which does sort of take a while. But there's more than just breaking the X that we want to do with this cannon. Now, after he sees that we are near a cannon and that we have firepower, they think it's perfectly safe to go walking around 
the area. What are they doing? They are out of their little fort, roaming around, doing nothing except going in circles for the most part, while I'm firing a damn cannon. Soon you will find out, which I don't figure out till much later, but I will tell you now. You want to kill all those guys with your cannon. Getting off your cannon, they will go back into their little hideout, and, uh, well, you won't be able to kill them. You have to kill them with the damn cannon. As I will eventually point out, it's like, oh, hey, you can kill them with this. I mean, it's nice if you can get them all together, like, right there, and just kill them. But if not, whatever. I mean, why, why do they think it's safe? to go out when I'm manning a cannon? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know what what is going through their mind right now. Fox has a cannon. It's perfectly safe. No. No. Someone give these bad guys a brain to think with. It's not safe to go out. And now that he's off the cannon, they go back in. It doesn't... They would have a better chance of taking a fox one without a cannon than with him on the cannon. But no, he's off the cannon and they're retreating. It doesn't make any sense, people. So we want to go up here now. And there's ice, so let's have Tricky Flame through this. Let's feed him first. Yes, we know, you're hungry. Let's feed him first. Oh, my eye itches. Okay, there we go. He's stuffed, so... Let's have him burn this thing down. Alright, we're doing something important now. Yep, there we go. There's one of the cogs. Now we need two more. Also, you'll notice when we first rode in on the the uh, mammoth, you you saw that red swirly thing with the skull on it, meaning you have to kill all the enemies in the area. I don't realize that till much later, so this takes stupidly long, and I don't remember what that was for at the time I looked at it. So, we run over here, but no reason to run out there, because we're just going to run back, because we ran in a stupid circle. Yeah, no good running out there. So, let's go back and put the cog in, and find these other cogs. And when it means kill all the enemies, it means all the sharp claws. Doesn't mean you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it doesn't mean to kill all the little worm like creatures in the ground. Because they just keep coming, pretty much. And my sinuses are really trying to kill me. Go away, don't. Uh. Before I go back to the cannon and try to figure out what I'm doing, because, like I said before, I don't actually figure out that I have to kill all the enemies till later. So I put it in. And we make our, our slow venture back. And I fall. Good job, Fox. Try that again. At least I don't fall this time. So we go back to our cannon. And we try to f sort things out. Also, I believe the ca using the cannon uses energy. Or does it? No. Yes, it does. It does use a little bit of energy. So 
you may find that you run out of energy. For a while, I thought you have to destroy this. No, you don't need to destroy that little strange dome. You have to kill the enemies like that. For a while, I, I'm just killing them just because I, I feel like killing stuff. Not because I realize you have to kill all of them. That actually takes a while for me to figure out that you have to kill all of them to do anything. I'm just killing them for the sake of bombing stuff. Alright. I'm out of energy, and then I cut back. And it gets really choppy here, I don't know why, but... Now I finally have realized we should probably kill this guy. And this would have been much longer if I had left me showing me trying to kill this one guy, which takes at least five minutes for me to shoot him down as he's circling that little area. But finally, I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Took me long enough, though. So, let's hop on back down and see what we can do. I don't know where I'm going. Where? There we go. Alright, so let's go in here for another cog. There we go. Of course. Yes, we'll be able to open a new route. Now let's head into this weird dome-like structure and open the next one. Now that we have the last two cog pieces, we can finally put them in and see what it unlocks. Most likely a bridge. As that's what most cogs in this game are used for. Bridges. So let's run on back and... Why am I going here? I don't know why I went that way. Alright. So we go back up. There we go. Can't use that cog, you have to use the specific cog for it. Even though they all look alike in your inventory. It's not like they have cog A, cog B, and cog C, nope. They're just general cogs, you have to figure out which one is it. Too easy to, to actually label them. Great, now the bridge is open. So, like a dumbass, I run back to my mammoth. Thinking, alright, well now we need to ride our mammoth. He's probably gonna come in handy. Well, he would. You'd think he would. But no, it doesn't help. He doesn't fit through the bloody hole. If he fit through the hole, yeah, he might be useful. But no, he doesn't. So, it, there really is no use for him anymore. He is only useful for getting to that one area. That is it. So let's go through here now. And in here we find a puzzle. And again, it takes me a while to figure out what to do. I remember you have to flame these, but I don't know how to activate it. And clearly I overlook the little red thing at the at the top, which I which you might have noticed for a brief moment. But I've I overlook that and I don't remember what I'm doing until Again, another five minutes later. And towing him to find, he's just gonna chase the damn mushrooms, because he's a fatty. There we go, see? That's what we need to shoot. 